it is possible it's not with Apple yeah. to actually load an audiogram. You could go to a doctor of audiology, have an audiogram uh, created, yep. and then you can actually load that into the iPhone. Isn't it's that right? It's actually not very hard. Um, now, on the surface, I say it's not very hard. You, you do have to play around with the software, because once you've taken a test, your system, the way it's programmed, it only wants to use that test, because it's like, hey, that's the most accurate. So if you want to override what you did with your iPhone, with that hearing test you took in the quiet of your own personal space, you need to know kind of how to get there. And so basically, um, again, you're in the main setting screen where Bluetooth is and Wi-Fi. If your AirPods are in, and again, you cannot load any audiogram or do any modification as it relates to and pertains to how you use your AirPod Pro 2s unless you take them out of the case and put them in your ear. Once you do that, a little, a little icon will show up, a little option. So you click it and uh, you come down here and it says, take a hearing test. Now, you need to know that's what it literally means. If you click on hearing test, which I thought that's where you would go to load an audiogram. And I think Dr. Whitaker, you'd probably say the same. And it's even, it's like, it's, it's in blue. a different color. You're it's like, like oh, click me. no brainer. Click me. No, no, no. Contraire, mon frere. What you want to do is right here, it says media assist. You click that and then you just come down here and what does it say in blue now? Update hearing test results. So you click it. Now, it, if you've done a couple tests and you've loaded them, you've loaded them here, it'll show the date and you can see that um, my initial experience on November 12th was basically no hearing loss, 4 dB of loss or 5 dB of loss in the right ear, which of course was cool. But then I thought, what do these sound like if someone did have more hearing loss, like a true mild to moderate, kind of more mild hearing loss? So what did I do? I typed in my own. Um, so right now, because there's a couple options, this is the part I don't like. I wish it was a little smaller because you have to literally go up to see that blue Ooh. option, which is add hearing test results. Once you click that, it just walks you through and you can add in manually. It says, do you want to add them manually or do you want to upload them off a picture? I just did it manually and it, and it lets you do that. Can I look at it? Sure. Click it. Yeah, we'll I've, click I've, it. So that was actually today, this mild loss. I've seen, I've seen threads on the internet. I saw a Reddit thread saying someone tried to take a picture of an audiogram and it didn't work. And then they had to go in and manually enter things in and it was difficult right. for them. So I'm curious, I've, this is the first time I've ever seen this. So I'm curious yeah. to see how you do it. Well, it's not, let's see if it'll. So that's the hearing loss I typed in. As you can see. How did you type it in? Where did you enter it? Okay, yeah, let's do that. You're saying, let's pretend like. Yeah, let's enter one in. So, um, not that any of you are keeping track, but that's a lot more hearing loss. Um, than what I actually have, <laughs> just as a... Full full disclosure, my yeah. hearing. Yeah. So um, let's go back here. So it says update hearing test results. Yeah. And you come here. Come down, Again, I don't test. love that that's hidden, but that's okay. Add hearing test, and then I'll let you, so if there's you want the scanner to, yeah, go manually. ahead and just add it. And again, I, I, I have no experience with this. I've seen online people say the scan manually was was not very accurate. That's well, something we need to try. I have not done that yet. Add, add manually, manually, if I do that. Oh, some from photos. photos mm -hmm. Let's enter them manually. Yep, that's... Good, and so then, and okay. And then we're probably not going to use... on symbols. I think someone looking at this that's not familiar with audiology would say, I don't... I don't even know what that means. That's exactly right. You wouldn't know doesn't, what symbols. It doesn't matter to me, so let's choose the cross. And the, and, yep. I mean, for us in the world of audiology, cross means left ear, circle means right ear, but it looked like I had to click both. Is that right? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, yeah, it's saying, which of these symbols appear on your chart you got from ah, your doctor? And usually, see, yeah. it's probably usually been the X's those. and O's for sure. Sometimes okay. some of them may have some masking symbols, but. Yeah, and sometimes you'll see this in a chart form where it's a table, I mean. It's, it's more of a table with frequencies and so numbers. So you wouldn't so. know if zero X yeah. is. But just to be safe, if you're not sure, we would recommend just do X's and O's. Those are the most basic symbols that people yeah. use without being too fancy. Which ones have symbols? So that's good. You have to be able to figure out the graph a little bit. You'll have to look at it and see, okay, which, yeah, which ones see, of these have symbols. Just click those. You probably just choose the ones that actually have X's and O's. Probably not that one. 
Yep. Maybe some of these, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And now here you just go plus and ah. minus with each ear. So blue is always the left ear. Just remember red right. So when you see the red symbol, it's for the mm. right ear. If you're looking at your graph, look for the right ear and just kind of. That's good. It, it kind of tells you up here that when you, this is your left ear and that's the right, but it doesn't really. I think, yep. I think they're just trying to assume you have no idea how to read this graph. You're just trying to duplicate the one you're looking at. So you can oh, go yeah. plus or minus, and you can do that. Um, oh, okay. Yep. And, and you then can it goes go back to the next one. And, yeah, and if you if you feel like you messed up, like you didn't do it quite right, you can go back a screen and correct it, things like that. So just walks you through. You're doing each one, okay? So it takes a second, but then you can actually load that into your device and. Yeah, and this is this is fun for me. I've never done this before, and it's yeah. good to see how it works. Hey, I just did this this morning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, it was six in the morning. This I'm is new stuff. I woke up and I'm like. What am I doing? Sleeping. I better. I've got AirPod Pro 2s. I'm not sleeping. I'm going to stick these my in. I got, I got to play around a little bit. Oh, you're going beyond. You're going to see what happens if you go beyond 40 dB, huh? What happens if we're going big on this guy? Okay, yeah, and okay. there it is. Done. And now we've got a new mm -hmm. And it says, uh, okay. it does still say mild. Mm. because some of it's mild. Some and maybe that's as much as it can do. Maybe, okay. I don't know. Boy, I think that's gracious though. Yeah, that's it true. Makes you feel good like you have a mild oh, loss. Yeah, it's not moderately severe. Because as a doctor, um, you know, writing a report for your actual chart and, and, and describing what your actual problems are, we would not have said that's a mild loss. It might just be doing a pure tone average, like a 500, yeah. you know, we, we have averages we take on these graphs and that, that may be what it's calculating. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's too bad you can't go in and edit that same one. It makes you add new ones, but I think you can delete old yeah. test results, things like that. So, oh. okay, everybody, we so appreciate you watching the video today. If you've liked what you've seen, please like it, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us, but it also means the world to other people who are trying to figure out what's going on with their hearing health. So thank you for watching.